Hello everyone, I am mathematics teacher of Pratishthan Learning Center in Lotus Petal Foundation. My topic is data handling. Let us first understand what is data. A data is a collection of information in the form of numbers. Example, marks of five students. 45, 23, 67, 44, and 21. This is a data. Now what is raw data? When the information is collected and represented randomly, it's called raw data. Suppose if I have collected a student's height of a class. Next is representation of data. When a raw data is represented in a meaningful form, like here, we represent data in tabular form or pictorial form or graphical form. Here, this is a tabular form. The value 25 is repeating one time, 26 value is repeating two times, and so on. This is again a ta ta table with having tally marks. Suppose uh, we have collected marks of 12 students. To represent this data, we have drawn three columns, marks, tally marks, and frequency. First of all, we write the marks from lowest value till highest value from here from 4 to 7. Then we will draw the tally marks. For the value 4, we have drawn 4 bars. That is vertical bars. For, again for 5 value, we have drawn 4 bars. Because the frequency is 4, means the marks 5 is represented is repeating four times. Now for the value six, the frequency is seven. Means six value is repeating seven times. To draw tally marks, we first draw four bars, then we cross for the fifth one. And then two bars are drawn. So in this way, we will draw other values. This is called tally marks table. Another form is pictorial form, which we call as pictogram. In this, we will draw a table of different fruit items. Here we have taken five fruit items. For the strawberry, the value is 65. Now we will draw pictures here to represent strawberry. Now it's not possible to draw 65 strawberries. So to e easy for the easy task, we have taken one picture equal to 10 fruits. Time after we have drawn here six full strawberries and one half strawberry. For the orange, we have taken four full orange and one half orange, and so on. It is not necessary to draw different symbols for different fruit items. We can also use one symbol to represent pictogram. Next form is graphical form, and which we call it bar graph. Here, a data is given to you. We will draw two lines, vertical and horizontal. Vertical line will draw fruits. On the vertical line, we will draw fruits. And on horizontal line, we will draw number of students. Here, we have drawn four vertical bars. Now, bars should be of equal width and the distance between each bar should be same. Here, the first bar is banana 
and its length is 8. Length of every bar can be different or can be same. For orange, the length is 3 and so on we will draw the other bars. Here we have taken one unit length equal to one student. Scale can be of your choice. Let us solve a problem. A cricketer scores the following runs in seven matches. Can you tell me what is the highest score? Yes, the answer is 80. What is the least score? The value is 20. Now what is the range? Range is the maximum value minus minimum value. So the answer would be 60. And how we obtain it? By putting the maximum value 80 and minimum value 20. 80 minus 20 will give us 60. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed this session.